This is the day, this is the occasion. The final of the 2024 UEFA European Championship. A chance to write new history, a chance to achieve greatness with the football world eagerly watching. Stay tuned, we have it live. And so it comes down to this. Welcome to our coverage of the final here at the Euros. My name is Derek Ray, sitting here on the commentary gantry. And with me to provide expert analysis, a complete tactical breakdown, is Stuart Robson. What a match this promises to be. Spain against England. Well, Derek, I'm really excited by these two teams. There are some top class players all over the pitch and some really good matchups. This could be a great final today. Let's hope so. Here's the lineup for Spain. Fabian plays with Rodri in central midfield, and the main striker today is Morata. Well, that's good defending, well organized at the back. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford is the keeper. Kieran Trippier starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Bukayo Saka plays with Phil Foden out wide. And the focal point in attack today, Harry Kane. How to play it goes. He was under a bit of pressure. Well, that's a completely wasted throw in. Pedri, a real artist, a player who has tremendous vision. Interested to know what you think we might see from him in this match. I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides past defenders, he's got that ability to run with the ball into open space. He can pick out a pass, he can wriggle out of tight situations. He's the most creative player on the field today. Morata! Oh, not to be! An opportunity wasted early in the game. Well, maybe it's come a little bit too early, Derek, but that's a wasteful finish. Well, as we know, Spain have a very rich pedigree when it comes to the European Championship. Winners in 1964, 2008 and 2012. And this current crop, you've got to say, must be in with an excellent chance of prevailing in the final. Well, I have to say, I've been really impressed with Spain. I thought they might come to this tournament and play possession football without any penetration, but that's not been the case. They've been good at the back, they've dominated in midfield, and they've been... Still possibilities. Oh, splendid header, but a fine save. And a very good challenge. Alexander Arnold. Well, a bit wasteful from England. Lenormand. Here's Carvajal. What can he do with it now? Nicely saved. England doing well to regain possession. Alexander Arnold. Here's Carvajal. Pedri. Well, Spain have seen more of the ball in the last 15 minutes, that's for sure. And they're playing really well and creating chances. It's surely only a matter of time before they take the lead here. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Moving the ball forward. How creative can they be? Dangerous ball. Well, the danger is still there. Just cutting off the supply. Alexander Arnold. How could he take them on and beat them? And quick thinking defensively.
Alexander Arnold. Harry Kane. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Robri. On to Morata. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Declan Rice. Mark Guehi. Rice with it. They've given it away. Now options are plenty. Played into the centre. And clears the danger. Good work from Spain to win back possession. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Can he play it in? Oh, disappointing clearance. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Stones. And that was a very fine read. And that'll be England's throw in. Textbook closing down, and now they're on the attack. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Harry Kane. England looking dangerous, but they dealt with the threat posed. Carvajal oh great attacking play really good build up but no end product Foden and the ball with Pickford being egged on by the crowd is it going to be and it was a great chance for 1-0 well that should have been the opener shouldn't it what a chance that was Time for the change now. An effective challenge. to be it's with Laporte out of play England throw in coming up Walker failed to hold it he could pick out a teammate well, not an effort for his own personal scrapbook
Trippier. Well, the referee allowing the play to flow. Well, trying to let them continue, but now he's gone back and awarded the free kick. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. And England have it back now. Alexander Arnold. Shot attempted. Rewarded for that brilliant high press. Well, wow, what a stop that was. But he's gone short with it. Cutting the ball back. And that's a straightforward stop. Well, there you have it. They haven't been good enough going forward. They've created very little so far. They need to play with much more urgency. And struggling even to just get hold of the ball here. Marino. Textbook defending inside the box. Harry Kane. Can he find the right pass? Marino. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Might really be able to trouble them here. And still a chance. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Wilting under the pressure, and now they try to go forward. Oh, it's a goal! And that gives them the advantage. Will they be able to keep it? Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, and then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Well, that reaction says it all. That's such an important goal in this game. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? This looks promising. And Morata's in the vicinity. Not messing around with that clearance. Just couldn't get it through. And the referee has given the corner. So maybe scope here for them to add to their lead. So the side. Deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Who can he pick out? Well, they weren't able to capitalize. Declan Rice. And the ball back with Spain now.
And options in the centre. And the struggle to get it away properly. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Well, disappointing end to the move. Marino. And defensive play to be applauded. Walker. Rice with it. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. Well, the fans want to see a shot. Well, possibilities inside the box. Pulls it back. That is not going to do. Well wide of the target. Substitution time it is here. Here's Luke Shaw. Well, no time to waste. Can they find an equaliser? And cut again from the flank. Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. Danny Olmo. And cutting it out. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. And there goes the final whistle. Spain have won the Euros on this dramatic night here in Berlin. The joy, the ecstasy, also the disappointment, but ultimately the feeling of togetherness. Well, I have to say, they've been brilliant throughout the tournament. They were great today as well. They are the deserved champions, no doubt about that. And these are very special scenes that we're witnessing. And now, with the pressure off, a chance to reflect, a chance to celebrate, the trophy about to be presented. The European champions, Spain! What a great moment for these players. Absolutely brilliant. And it doesn't get any better than this, does it? A chance now to celebrate with their own fans. And the fans have also played their part. Just listen to the noise here. Great end to this tournament.